Paris is one of the most popular and beautiful tourist destinations in the world. I've had the privilege to visit six times, but I realized there are many things I wish I would have known before visiting the city for the first time. Therefore, in this video, I'll share the most important things I wish I would have known. This way, you don't have to be surprised and can enjoy your Paris trip to the max. For more videos in the future, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications whenever I post a new video. Good morning guys and welcome to Paris. I came here on a road trip with my parents, which is immediately the first thing that I would say you, I wish I knew about Paris. It is not just for couples. I know it is known as the capital of love in the world. Of course, it is a super romantic city, but I also very much believe that it is a perfect place for families and for friends. Actually, the last time I also visited with my friend Nadine and it was so much fun. Paris is for so many more target groups than just people who are in love. Come on, let me show you around what you can do with your family. Something else I really, really wish I would have known when I went to Paris for the first time is how many free things there are to do. Paris is a city for every single budget. You can walk around the pyramid behind me for free. Yes, you don't have to buy a ticket for that. Of course, if you want to go into the Louvre, you will have to buy a ticket, but the outside of the Louvre is completely free. Also a walk through the Tuileries, the beautiful, beautiful gardens around the Louvre is for free. You can walk around the Eiffel Tower for free. There are so many beautiful sights that you can see and that makes Paris absolutely the most versatile city because even if you want to spend a lot of money here, you definitely can, but if you don't, you don't have to.
One thing I also really really wish I knew before coming to Paris for the first time is that not many people speak English. Yes, I know that may seem very strange for such an international city like Paris, but the French are very very attached to their language. Yes, even in Paris, sometimes they will speak French to you even though they know English. This can be sometimes a little bit difficult, but it is easier in the city center where more people are used to dealing with tourists. Also, if you're looking for a restaurant, I know that I said in my video, biggest mistakes not to make in Paris, to not have a lunch or a dinner in the city center because the prices are very, very high. But at the same time, if you don't know French and you feel very uncomfortable, you know, speaking with your arms, <laughs> then the city center might be a good idea because over here on the menus they usually do have an English translation of the meals and also the staff is a lot more used to dealing with tourists so they can you know amend your meals if you need some ingredients taken out due to allergies or those kind of things I also have to say I looked this restaurant up on Google Maps it got medium reviews but it's very close to the Eiffel Tower the Eiffel Tower is literally here around the corner and the food was actually pretty good and the staff was absolutely phenomenal so I will put the name of the restaurant down in the description below if you're looking for a good international restaurant where um, you know you don't have to deal with only speaking in French then you can definitely have your lunch or dinner over here but just keep that in mind the French really 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 like their French and you might want to learn a couple of words of French but at the same time in the city center, th their English is better. <laughs> How was the food, Mal? Oh, it was very tasty yeah. and beautiful. Beautiful. It was very nice to see also. Okay, nice. Dad, how was the food? Yeah. It was just on time. Very nice and very, very tasty and fine. Nice. Good. The food was really fine and the total of the bill was 69 euros. My parents each had two coffees. They also shared a beer. I only had tea, so three main meals, we added some extra fries. I think that's a pretty good price, 69 euros for three people in the city center of Paris. Yeah, that, that's definitely the prices that you should take into account. In the biggest mistakes not to make in Paris video, I mentioned the best way to get Eiffel Tower tickets is online. However, I wish I would have known these tickets get sold out during the day. We didn't buy tickets online and while standing in a way too long line at the ticket office, find out that the online tickets are sold out. 1010 can't recommend because you might miss the gorgeous sunset. Buy your tickets in advance and save yourself the stress.
Another thing that's very very important to know about France in general, not just Paris, is that people love to strike here. The labor laws are very strict so it's very difficult to fire people and that's why they really really love to strike. Today the majority of the public transportation staff, so from the metros, the buses, the Mm, even the airlines, they are all on strike. It's a little bit difficult to get around the city with the metro not working and the buses as well, but there's always Uber, so they're doing good business today. There's actually also bicycles on Uber here, something that I was very surprised about. I wanted to take one this morning, but I didn't have Wi-Fi on the go, so that's something to think about if you want to use Wi-Fi on the go. It might be smart to get a local SIM card, but because we're here only for two days, I decided not to do that. We are in an Uber, and we are very much enjoying the view of Paris from a car. <laughs> Ciao, mama. Ciao. Ciao, Lizzie. Ciao, Tata. I'm currently standing in front of the beautiful soccer court and behind me is the street that I mentioned with all the scammers. This is in my biggest mistakes not to make in Paris video. I've linked that video down in the description below. I wish I would have known before coming to Paris that the scammers would only get worse throughout the years. I already talked about the scammers that operate here around the soccer court. Well, yesterday we were at the Louvre with my parents and the scammers have only multiplied. They are selling fake tickets over there and even though there are signs to not buy fake tickets from them, some people still buy them, which is obviously not a good thing. Yesterday also my mom almost got pickpocketed in the metro. Luckily she was very vigilant, but it was four people collaborating with each other. One person was distracting my dad, another woman was pushing into my mom. They thought she wouldn't be able to feel that her bag was being pulled. Luckily she was very vigilant and she managed to get her bag and her wallet back. They dropped it either by accident or on purpose because she called them out. I also got stopped yesterday after making a luxury purchase and I also called the guy out. So I think that's the best strategy. Don't get aggressive on them. You never know if somebody has a knife, but you can definitely call them out in a relaxed kind of joking way. If you come to Paris, just know that this is absolutely a gorgeous city, a must-see on anybody's itinerary when you're coming to Europe. But there are actually people who may not have very good intentions with you. Just know that it's out there before you come here and don't have like too much of a rosy glass picture of Paris up to a point where you're too naive to see when people don't have that good intentions with you.
If you enjoyed this video, make sure to put a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel to see more videos in the future and click the bell icon to get notifications whenever I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Good morning guys and welcome to Paris. I'm here with my parents. <laughs> Which is too much noise. Good morning guys and welcome to Paris. I came here on a road trip with my parents and there is like so much noise. <laughs> this is echt the slechtste plek om te filmen ooit. Look how some of us that's not even best of you can Come on, let's go get have some. Come on, let I also got stalked yesterday while uh, after me. I also got yesterday. I also got stalked yesterday after making a luxury purpose. I also got stalked yesterday after making a luxury pur purchase. I also got stalked yesterday after making a luxury pur purpose. I also got stalked yesterday.